So I actually forgot to do the watch list in my previous video. Um, so here it is. Um, this what uh, had some broker comments that uh, the tech won't be in the next iPhone, which is kind of expected, but it, it's still holding up really well. So um, there should be nothing here. So Tesla is thought about this, to, uh, talked about this one. I will add to my short in the high 270s uh, or add back some of the shares I covered. This one is not really extended anymore. ESPR. Uh, starting to get extended. Hopefully, it can push like 27 or something on Monday. That would be great. GBT. Hopefully, again, uh, it actually had some positive comments in Barron's. Uh, fund manager talked about this one. So, like a 29 or 30 push on Monday would be ideal. G uh, GOL is starting to get a bit extended from. The moving averages uh, hopefully can push to 30. This is uh, at a point where you can very easily pull back three, four, five bucks. Let's look at the long watch list. So IMGN, I took a loss on it. As you know, from my previous video, or I think I mentioned it in my previous video. Anyways, I took a loss on it on Friday. Uh, so basically looking for breakouts on these. This Ura is looking good. Just resting on the... Around these 20 then day moving averages. Very tight candle. Over 220 may go. So this KPTI attempted to break out a few days ago. And I fell back into the range. If it breaks this 11 area, it could go. It's been building higher lows as a base on a base kind of a pattern. Biotechs are strong. So everything is kind of lining up. Just needs to break out on volume. Now, this one is, again, also very tight range, just rising on the ri resting on the rising support. Uh, this one tried to break out on Friday, fell back into the range. It ah, kind of doesn't look very tight anymore, so I'm removing it from my watch list. This is a, just a great looking chart, like 65 break and or this low 65 area. This thing is going to go, could very easily go to 70 plus. Another biotech related name. This is kind of extended, but uh, it could, yeah, could, could. Could have another breakout. Fannie Mae, I've been talking about this one a lot. Looks good. Uh, this one is not uh, needs more rest, but it's building higher lows and has a little bit of range at 26 bucks. But at least again, it needs more rest. Um, this one looks very good. Just needs volume on the breakout, and it could go. I actually tried to buy this breakout here. I took a loss on it. Another bottom biotech-related name, like VRX has rallied off the lows. MYL has rallied off uh, off the lows. ENDP, like like a lot a lot of stuff. Um, and this one is just flagging off the lows. You know, next stop could be the hundred day. The sector is very strong, so uh, this one is just too thin. I'm not sure I'm gonna trade it. Just nah, there's just no money in, in this one. Uh, not tight anymore. We're moving it. Nah, it's just not tight. ICHR current position still watching it. Well, this one, uh, they're trying to pump it on the Snap IPO, as you, if you remember this thing. Had a big run before the Facebook IPO, and I think also uh, before... I uh, know, actually, had a big run before the Twitter IPO. So now they're trying to pump this one again, but only like 1% or so of the holdings, or 2% of their holdings are in Snapchat. So there's really no fundamental reason for it to run, but yeah, whatever. It's a low float, low market cap. Low-priced, low-volume stock, you know, it 
can go. Mm, this one tried to break out on Friday. It's just no choose. I would have preferred this 250 break and I probably would have bought it, but still bidding higher lows, but it's just not tight. That's my problem with it. Um, yeah, just a bunch of shards. Again, most of these are just one or two or maybe three days from getting from being perfect. Not this one close kind of weak. I would have preferred a stronger close than I would have watched it on the short side for Monday. But this is just kind of mid range and it couldn't do anything. Can't do anything. Can go higher. Can go lower. Just nothing there. So this one tried to break out. Actually broke out a little bit on Friday, but the entry was on Tuesday or whatever day this is. There's nothing here now. Shagex, I had an alert on it here at 87, 88 cents. I could have bought it 89, 90 cents, but I just didn't. And you know, this thing could, could push back to one teens or one twenties or something. But right now, there's really nothing here. But it was a good looking sh uh, short. Had a high volume move on a reverse uh, merger news and pulled back to support. Had a couple of tight range candles. Very good looking short. Now this one is it's like dry, it's just selling paper non-stop. Coo, I'm gonna try to get it on the dip, as I said in the previous video. Uh, this one, as you know, I tried to buy it a few days ago. I sold it the same day because I had already so many positions and I kinda could go. It's the right kind of a chart in the right kind of a market. The, these these are the ones that are going so it gets some volume i'll try to buy it i have an alert on this one now this one had more kalani news uh friday late after hours the paper selling is on again and this is probably short on all pops from now on i'm gonna set an alert on this one this one also gonna set an alert mm. Hmm, kind of looks interesting. Coming off a uh, bottom, had some news. Ah, maybe good go. Now this one had a recent reverse split, very low float, actually below a million now. If it gets volume, I could be a good buy. Gonna set an alert and going to set an alert. Just a lot of bottom biotechs like these, like CLDX had a big run back in November. 40% move in like two weeks and these these things can go and it's kind of liquid you can very easily buy 20 30,000 shares of this thing so okay so that was the watch list sorry I forgot to do it in the previous video